well, I didn't expect to be back here so soon. When I wrote Stupidly Explained Zelda, I could have never imagined that so many people would want me to cover the second quest. But boy does my audience love proving me wrong. I figured I'd do a little bonus video on the second quest where I go through all the dungeons, but to avoid overly repeating myself, I'm planning on doing it lightning round style. So the first dungeon hasn't moved at all, and it lulls you into a false sense of security that maybe the second quest is like Super Mario Bros. Second Adventure, where all you're going to be doing is dealing with stronger enemies. But then you get inside and find out that it's an E. And now we don't know what to think. Fun fact, you can skip over 80% of this dungeon because this dungeon is poorly designed, like most of the second quest. Up next is Dungeon 2, which is not located in its original location. Nope, it's located where you bought the blue ring in the first quest. Dungeon 2 is in the shape of an A. It reintroduces the recorder, which is a lot sooner than in the first quest, but that's more of a curse than a blessing. Because holy crap are a lot of things hidden by the recorder this time around. Also, Gleok is the boss of this dungeon. Yep. Dungeon 3 is found where the second dungeon used to be, but it's now in a pond. We've seen this parlor trick before. This dungeon is in the shape of an L, and there's really not much more to say about it. Dungeon 4 is located in the Lost Hills. You need the power bracelet to move this rock, which, wow, I can't believe that this was actually required for once. This one's in the shape of a D, and if you can't figure out what they're attempting to do by now, I'm not sure if I can help you. Dungeon 5 is exactly where Dungeon 4 was at. Except the raft is located in a hidden wall in Dungeon 4, which will truly get you to question reality. Dungeon 5's in the shape of a Z. That, that's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot more special about this one. Oh, hey, look, another Gleok. That's neat. Dungeon 6 is in the graveyard, and the entrance can only be opened with the recorder, because of course that would be the case. It's in the shape of a, uh, shape. It's basically what's left over between the L and the Z, and no, I am not going into more detail about that. Dungeon 7 is found in a bush, which the only way to open the entrance is to burn it from the other side of this path. This one's in the shape of a counterclockwise spiral. It also has a Gleok as the final boss. Okay, fine. There is no mercy, only Gleok. Dungeon 8 is found by blowing up this wall across the river in the mountains. How in the world was anyone able to find this? I mainly said this in jest in the original run, but seriously, how did anyone figure this out? Dungeon 8 is in the shape of another spiral. Other than that, there is really not much else to this dungeon. Dungeon 9 is in the upper left corner of Hyrule. You just gotta bomb it open. That's it. Dungeon 9 is in the shape of Ganon's face because Ganon has become a bit of a narcissist between the first and second quest. Anyways, that's basically the second quest. Excluding all the new monster variants, which range anywhere from neat concept to annoying to downright evil. Hope you enjoyed it, because I certainly didn't. <laughs>